Um, so I'm not going to do the workout today because I went to the dermatologist and I uh, got a new zipper, 17 stitches here in my neck, basal cell gone, yeah. But it's really important when you get stitches uh, to do Katsu cycles because each time you, the, you go through this cycle of pressure on, which is expansion of vascular tissue and then pressure off relaxation, every time you expand or relax vascular tissue, the endothelial cells get this shearing in your endothelial cells, right? Those line your vascular tissue. And you get this shearing aspect. And when that happens, your body releases endothelial nitric oxide synthase, which is really important for vascular elasticity, cardiac health and all this. But essentially, it helps you heal faster. And because this is a systemic effect, it doesn't matter whether you do it on your legs or on your arms, wherever you have a wound that's healing, and these are brand new stitches, this will help it heal a lot faster. So while I'm not working out with you guys today, I'm doing a bunch of katsu cycles. There you go. Over to you. Sorry for the airplane flying by. Go ahead, Laura. All right. So there was a question posed yesterday that I really liked. I think it was John who asked, and I wanted to reflect back on this. It was, what are some creative things that you can think to do with the bands on? And I know it was mentioned, I think Chris or someone was painting with the bands on. So as we go throughout the workout today, just think of some creative things that you could do with your bands on. And as we take a break through some of our exercises, we can just toss them into the chat and kind of swap ideas get creative with this. So that being said, grab your water, take a big sip, everybody together. If you don't have water, now is the time to get it. All right. Now we're ready to go. Okay. Bands are on, cycles are on. We've been doing a number of different workouts this week. We've had cardio. We've had strength building. We've had control and mobility. Today, we're going to do a mix of all that. It's going to be cardio based. We're going to get our heart rate up again. Things are going to be pumping. Uh, and then we'll slow it down at the end with some core. So I'm going to do this on my knees so you can see me. Feel free to stand or be on your knees, whichever one is more comfortable. We're going to start with some neck movement. Okay. So pull your shoulders away from your ears. And keeping them down, I want you just to start to move your head side to side. And it might look and feel kind of silly, and that's fine. That's what we're going for. So the body's going to want to rock and roll with the bands. Try not to let it move. Just head side to side. Good. All right. Now, other direction. So if you notice, how I'm standing right now, my ears are stacked over my shoulders, and that's ideal posture. Because we spend a lot of our time in life driving, reading, texting, our ears start and our chin start to drop forward. And this 10-pound ball of weight is a lot of weight for the spine. So let's work the neck muscles to help support our head so we don't keep tipping forward. So you're just going to go forward and backwards, forward and backwards. Stretching out the neck, building some strength in those muscles. Good, see you more. And then go ahead and meet with your ears stacked over your shoulders, head on top of spine. We're gonna draw some circles with our head in the neck socket. Go ahead and tuck your chin into your chest, really keep those shoulders down. You can even make fists to help you pull your shoulders away from ears. Start to drop right ear to right shoulder. Big old stretch, side stretch. Good. Drag the back of the head along the back or imagine you're doing so. And as you come around, drop your left ear to your left shoulder and then pull it back through center. So we're gonna do two more like this. Right ear to right shoulder. As slowly as you possibly can, big old movement. Drag the back of the head around, left ear to left shoulder and come back to your center. You take one more on your own. See how big you can make that circle, working through any pops, cracks, stickiness, as long as it's not painful. 
and then restack the head on top of the spine. Let's go the other way. So this time, left ear to left shoulder. Drag the back of the head along the back. And as you come around, right ear to right shoulder, chin into the chest. Left ear to left shoulder, work through it. Two more. And last one. And bring the head back through center. Give the shoulders a roll. And we're gonna do what I call a scapular massage for the last part of our stretching and mobility work. So scapulas, back to the shoulders back here. We're going to extend both arms forward and we're gonna draw boxes with our shoulders. So we're gonna draw the shoulders up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, and forward. Keep going. Good, really making those moves pronounced. One more, up, back, down and forward. Let's move the other way. Back, up, forward, down, back, up, forward, and down. Keep going. And notice here if your spine is starting to bend, keep engaging your core so the movement is only in our shoulders. Last one. All right, release the arms. Working into the forearms. Smaller muscles to bigger muscles. Make sure that cycle is rolling. We're gonna make our way down onto our workspace on hands and knees. Let's move that back a bit so you can see me. Now, in our previous workouts, we've done what I call fingertip push-ups, where we come up onto our fingertips and then we come back down. This time, we're gonna come onto the tips of our fingers and keeping the knees where they are, you're gonna start to walk your fingers out and then walk your arms back towards the body. Now you'll notice here that my hips don't move, my shoulders don't move. I walk out the arms as far as I can, and I walk them back underneath the body, okay? And there's no real modification for this. It's just if this hurts your wrist or your hands too much, go ahead and come up and do little um, wrist curls for the forearms instead. So I don't want to find first 30 seconds. If you're partaking in the walkout, stack your hips over your knees and start to walk it out and walk it back in. <laughs> and it might feel kind of silly, but the higher you are in the fingertips, the more the forearms are gonna be working. So we're making little tents with our hands. And we're also engaging our core to keep the rest of the body in line. Last 10 seconds. Getting high on those fingertips. We have four, three, two, and rest. Let's give the wrist a stretch. Come onto the backs of the palms, and then start to straighten your arms as much as you can, keeping the backs of all 10 fingers rooted into the floor. So sometimes we tend to make lobster claws here. Press every finger from your thumb to your pinky down and spread them nice and wide, making sure that the very base of your wrists are on the floor. And if you have a little bit extra room here, you can start to pull your butt back towards your heel. Being gentle though, wrists are small joints. Good, now as we come out of it, roll one wrist around and then the other. It's not gonna feel great. Wrists are one of the only ones where once we do mobility work, it feels bad after, but I promise it's okay, okay? Let's do our second set of forearm walkouts. So come onto your tips of your fingers and we're going. Go ahead and walk those arms out as far as you can go and walk them back up. Starting to notice the veins, the arms might be getting slightly darker in color, that's okay. Staying high on the fingers. Try not to let your palms touch. Woo. All right, last 10. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Walk them back. Now come onto your palms, let's work into it a little more. Go fingertips, palm. Fingertips, palm. For eight, seven, yes, six. Five, all the way up, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. All right, seated bicep curl. So you can come up to stand if this is too much on your knees or you can stay on your knees. It's the same bicep curls we always do. 
You're going to pull the elbows into the midline of the body, make fists. And today we're going to actually alternate one side and then the other. And if you have a weight or a soup can or something you want to grab, you can grab it. Otherwise, create the resistance in your own body. So moving really slowly up and really slowly back down. Okay. So we're alternating sides, 30 seconds. Let me see those muscles in your biceps work up. Move through it down. Slowly up. Slowly down. And we oftentimes do our bicep curls with both arms at the same time. So see if you notice any difference in isolating one arm and then the other. I personally feel like it's a little bit harder on the working arm. We can contract and squeeze a bit more. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Release it. Give the fingers a wiggle. All right. Second set, same thing, but fast pace. Still one arm, we're gonna go up, 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 up. 30 seconds, make this, draw the elbows in, let's move. So I'm almost like clenching my fist towards my shoulders. In, 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 in. You're grabbing a big handful of chocolate or pretzels or whatever you like to eat, and you're bringing it in towards your body. Up, 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 even faster. Get those elbows in, that's it. Good, last 10. Good, we have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. I feel everything working. Hopefully you do too. All right, let's get into some stuff that's gonna elevate the heart rate a little bit. We're gonna do the ups and downs. So I start in a plank position. I go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Now, modification, you can always do it on your knees. We're gonna do a 30 second set, so think moderate pace, a 20 second set, pick it up, and a 10 second, all, our, all out, all arm, sprint, down and up, down and up, down and up. If your hips are wiggling as you're doing this, I'm gonna call you on it, okay? So everyone, make your way either into hands and knees or plank position, 30 seconds, downs and up, go. And you get to pick here what a sustainable pace is. Good. We got a solid crew today. Nice shake. Cool. I'm seeing stable hips. Everyone see if you can give your glutes a nice squeeze. Perfect, Lily. Chris is doing the work. We have five, four, three, two. Drop your knees if they're not already there. Take a quick breath. Roll one wrist. Roll the other wrist. And let's jump right into our next set. So make your way back into plank. This time, 20 seconds. Pick up the pace faster. Down, down, up, up. Notice that your back and your hips don't move. Squeeze your core. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze what you got. 10 more seconds. Great job, Instagram, as well. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Give them a roll. 10 seconds, all out sprint. Make your way into plank. Ready, set, go. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Let's come all the way down onto our bellies. Take a stretch for your spine, elbows underneath shoulders. If you want, you can press into your hands and push your elbows off the floor, getting a little bit deeper into that stretch. This next thing we're gonna do is the spine is gonna be stretched like that. Now, technically, technically, when we do this next exercise, to be honest, our bands are not optimized because our bands are not above the rest of the arm, but I still want us to make sure and do this so that we can keep our spine nice and strong. So, with that being said, I reach my arms long, I reach my legs long. I lift my arms and the legs off the floor. Squeeze your elbows together and then reach them long. Pull your elbows together, extend the arms long, nice and straight, 30 seconds, first set. Gazing down at the floor the whole time so that the back of the neck is long and it's not crunched. Now see how high you can get your legs and your arms off the floor. Glutes are engaged to protect your back. Wonderful. 
As you reach forward, really reach forward. Shoulder extension, get that stretch. Nice. Good. Everyone see if you can do two more. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. You can make a pillow with your hands and rest your cheek on it. Give your hips a rock side to side. And then for our second set, we're going to lift our arms. We're going to bring them all the way down to the side, back behind us, and then circle them forward. Palms facing down. We bring them back and we bring them forward. So a little different movement of the shoulders. Still the same work for the spine. So 30 seconds, we're going. Everyone lift your arms and your legs. Palms facing down. Reach back behind you as much as you can. Also squeezing the shoulders. Reach forward. Reach them back. Take them forward. Half done. Looking down at the floor. I'm watching position. This is good. See if you can get your chest a little bit higher. Really working into the spine. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone come onto hands and knees. And so there's two movements of the spine when the spine is moving in opposite directions. When our spine is like this, we're in extension. When our spine is like this, we're in flexion. When we're on our stomachs, we're in spinal extension. So let's balance that out and pull our butt back to our heels for some spinal flexion. Important to keep the spine moving in all different directions. All right. You go ahead and shift your weight forward onto hands and knees. Tuck your toes, get your knees off the mat, press back into downward facing dog and pedal out the legs, straightening alternate legs as you drop that heel towards the floor. All right, go ahead and walk, walk, walk your hands back to meet your feet. Roll up to stand and let's get our heart rate pumping. So two, two, three moves, 30 seconds each. The first one, lateral high knees. So my arms are up, I'm going over to one side, I'm going over to the other side. We've done this. The next one, double squat punch. I go squat, squat, one, two, three, four, squat, Squat, one, two, three, four. The last one is sumo squat reach. Down, up, down, up. First 30 seconds, lateral high knees, let's go. If jumping is not doing it for you, step side to side. Whichever you're doing, move. Get those knees up as high as you can. Yes, light on the toes. Woo. It's always fun when you do the first heart rate boost of the day. Your body's like, um, are we sure we're doing this? And you're like, yes, we are. Last 10. Yes, fast as you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Double squat punch. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Keep going down, down, punch it out. Down, down, punch it out. Keep going. Heels should be on the floor the entire time. Shift your butt back, keep your weight back. Last 10. Woo, good. Let me see those arms. I like it. We have six. Go Bonnie, go George. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, step the feet wide. Sumo squat reach. Down, up, down, up. If you need to jump, go for it. I don't need to jump today. I'm just doing it. Good. Straight arms the entire time. Get your butt low. Keep going. Last 10. This is the last thing we're doing with the arm band, so let's make it good. Go, Brandon. Nice. All right. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Shake it out. Quick stretch, right hand between the shoulder blades. Take your left hand, encourage that elbow back behind your head, and then start to slide the back of the left hand up the spine. I don't care if you're here, here, or here, as long as you're assuming this position. Now keep pressing your head into the top elbow so that we're not slouching. And breathe. 
All right, release it. Left hand between the shoulder blades. Use the right hand to tuck what I call your chicken wing behind your head. And then slide the back of the right hand up into whatever position you can hold and breathe into. Keep pressing the elbows towards the back wall. Good. And release it. Let's swap out our bands. And I want to hear from you guys some creative ideas for things you can do other than jumping around and exercising using the bands. So painting has already been taken. Let's go ahead and, and shout out some other ideas as we swap these guys out. Stand up paddleboard, ping pong, walking the dogs. Stand up paddleboard, ping pong, walking the dogs. All right, all right. Someone's had time to think about this. <laughs> Anyone else? Swimming. That's swimming. That's exercise. Okay, fine. Yes, well, swimming. <laughs> Wonderful. <Okay>. Yes. <laughs> I was pulling a you bucket. You can also run around the block. Yes, you can. Yeah. That's exercise. <laughs> I love it. What else? What about? I know this is for kids, but hula hoop is a lot of fun. Hula hoop? Huh? I love that. Do you wear leg bands or arm bands when you do your hula hooping? Leg bands and then I untether. So the leg bands to stay pumped up while I'm doing it. I see, and I see it right behind you. Yeah. Nice. We can get a demo. I was going to say, can we get a demo out at the end of, at the, end of the class? I'd love to see some cats hula hooping. Fun. I'm sensing like a future workout trend. <laughs> okay, I got one. Even though I, this won't be an exercise, Lori. Well, um, so you have to crawl underneath the house. Uh, I had to fix a leaky pipe. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I want. So I want to do art exercise. So that's what's cool because we all know we can exercise, but things like crawling under the house and wearing your bands, that's amazing, right? Like you could sit in bed and read with your bands on if you wanted to. Um, one that I really liked that Steve was teaching us a long time ago was like folding things with the bands on. Um, any cleaning related activity, walking on the block. I mean, technically you could even like go to the park and have a picnic with the bands on, right? Like <laughs> anything is possible. Okay. On that note, let's set our legs up in the right way. Everyone check your bands, find the outer edges, pull them up. Start that cycle. And we're gonna work into some balance and mobility today all at one time. So if you need a wall, a chair, or a ledge, grab one. If you don't have one, that's fine. We'll work with it, okay? We're gonna start by picking the right foot up and off the floor. Now we're gonna start to open that knee out to the right. Pull it back through center. Open it out to the right and pull it back through center. Keep going, we're doing 30 seconds of this. And each time you do it, make sure that your body does not move. I want you to press the outer edge of your knee out further and further. So you're creating as much space between your hip bones as possible. And you can also do this with the foot closer to the ground if balance is challenging. Yes, last 10. Good, we're gonna press out and hold in four, three, do press that leg out to one side and hold it, little pulses. Out, 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 pulling your hips in opposite directions. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pull that knee in, set it down with control, and let's work into the other side. Left leg up. 30 seconds, open it out and close. Open and close. Body does not move. You can even take your hands onto your hips or your abdomen to make sure that form is good. And doing our best to keep our knee in line with our hip if we can. Ooh, you can brush your teeth with the bands on. Yep. <laughs> good. Last four, three, two. Press that knee open, pulse it. Out, out, out. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in through center. Set it down with control. Now we're standing for our calves for today. We're going to jump rope. 
So you're gonna come off the toes, down, up and down, 30 seconds. This is our calf work. So think really light on the toes, get your heels off the ground. My time is going. You can add arms if you want to, or you can just focus on keeping the heels off the mat. Up, 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 up. It's a game. Try not to let your heels drop, even if that means you're moving slowly. That's fine. Last 10. See if you can jump a little bit higher. First seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We have one more round of that. If you want more, try alternating feet. Up, 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 up. <laughs> kind of more like a skip, but you don't want to let the heels touch the ground. 30 seconds, whatever variation you've got. Balance and tab. All right, let's see how we're doing. Good job. All right. Good, last 10 seconds. Go, Kaden. I love everyone's got their like kind of skipping arm going too. We have five, four, nice shake, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Cardio mania. We come into plank position. It's called a snap jump to frog jump. The snap part, I don't understand. The frog, it makes sense. I'm in a plank position. I jump in and out. In and out, okay? We're doing 30, 20, 10 of that. If the jumps aren't working, you step in, in, out, out. So think about getting the feet between the hands and outside the hands, okay? Everyone in plank position. 30 seconds, we're going in, out, in, out. Pick your pace, own it, work with it. Woo, Jake is flying. Nice, Cindy. Good, Kayleen. I love it. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody drop your knees, give your hips a wiggle side to side. I saw a lot of jumping there. Woo, all right. Right into the next set. Step back into plank. 20 seconds. A little bit faster pace. We're going in, out. Totally okay to step. Observing what feels right for you today. As long as you are moving the whole time, I'm happy with it. Diane, amazing. Yes. You guys are making my day. Last four, three, two, and rest. Now we've got 10 seconds. All out. Take a deep breath. Let it go. One more. 10 seconds. Set yourself up into plank. Last set. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Everybody up to stand. Shake it up. Grab a sip of water. And then we're going to jump into our next exercise. Check your cycle. Okay, now we're ready. Three part lunge. So my right leg is doing the work. I lunge forward, sideways, and back. Forward, sideways, and back. Okay, 30 seconds per side, right leg only, first set. Get as low as you can go, challenging yourself. Whee! All right, keep it up, keep it up, half done. We are not going to take a break. Someone's unmuting. We're going to move right into the other leg in four, three, two, and one, left leg. We go out, side, and back. Out, side, 
and back. Half done. Get your butt even lower so that we can open up those hips, strengthening the hamstrings, strengthening the quads and the glutes. We have five, four, three, two. Killer, shake it out. We are doing one more set of these. This time, if you want an extra challenge, you lunge forward, hover that foot, side, hover, back, hover. So don't let that right foot touch the ground if you wanna add an element of balance. If you wanna make it a more cardio-centric move, move faster, okay? Your choice, what you wanna do today. 30 seconds, right leg grooving, let's go. Yes, find it straight the whole time, chest up. And if you pick the balance option, you still better be coming into good form on those lunges. Awesome. We're gonna go right into the other side in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's go. Left leg out, hover, side, hover, back, Hover, but you gotta keep sinking into that lunge. It's not a tap. I wanna see a bend in the knee. So we're building muscle, we're not just bouncing around. That's the stuff. Good, Quentin. Chris is killing it. <laughs> nice. Last 10. Lowest you can go. Good, Lily. First five, four, three, two, and rest. Pick up the heart rate, lateral high knees, 30 seconds, go. If you want more, you can reach your arms straight up as you do this, get those knees up, 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 up. Hee <laughs> Last 10, move, 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 high on those toes. Let's close our Friday out with a bang, our last workout of the week for seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Double squat punch. Pulse, pulse. One, two, three, four. Pulse, pulse. One, two, three, four. Heels do not lift off the ground. Keep it up. Woo! Yes. Toes are angled slightly out to the side. So we're in external hip rotation. And we are removing those arms, moving those legs. Everything is going. Last 10. If you need to add a jump, add that jump. For five, four, three, two, step into wide legs. Sumo squat reach, last one. Down, up, down, up. Totally okay to starfish jump. Oh man, will your thighs feel that burn? Try and touch the floor, get loose. Keep those arms straight, last 10, fast, woo. We have eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, water for everybody. Keep moving, try not to sit down. We wanna keep our muscles moving around so that we don't build up lactic acid and feel a premature burn. All right, all right, all right. Okay, next on the agenda. Lateral squat taps. So this one is more of a strength and mobility exercise than cardio. I want you to come into a squat position. Get your butt really low and then tap side to side. My shoulders, my torso, they do not move. If you want to go crazy, you can get really low, okay? Now notice my heels stay on the floor the whole time. I'm shifting my weight back instead of forwards, and I tap, tap, okay? Drop into it, 30 seconds, move. And you can do whatever you want with your hands. I sometimes like to clasp mine to find some kind of center of balance. But if you wanna take them to your hips, take them to your hips. If you wanna do the wave, do the wave. Half done. Bottoms even lower, drop it down. There we go. Are we breathing here? Last eight. Seven, good Brandon, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone take a big generous bend into your knees. 
bend so much that you can touch the floor, and then keeping your fingers in contact with the floor, straighten your legs as much as you can. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna fully straighten your legs and your fingers are gonna come up. Don't do it, keep your fingers down. Even if that means a bend in your knees, and then start to straighten the alternate legs. Pedal, pedal, and pedal. All right, now we're ready for our second set. Roll on up to stand. 30 seconds, try and get really low. If you want the extra challenge, hands behind the head, even harder, arms straight up. Now they're gonna start to do this. If you cannot keep your arms straight, you're taking hands to head. Out, out, 30 seconds, here we go. Core is always engaged the whole time we're doing this. Nice, Kaden. If your arms are up, everyone get those fingertips up. George, good version of it. I like it. Yee! Awesome. I see Sydney working. I don't know if I see Sophia. Whoever I see in that family is doing great. Last 10. Kaylin, get your butt down. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Move it all around. Before we come down for our core, we're gonna continue to play with balance. So, if you have a book, something handy, book, pillow, whatever it might be, I want you to grab it and place it on top of your head. If you don't have anything handy, I would not recommend using your cell phone, because that's just scary. Imagine you have something on top of your head. So I'm gonna grab this magazine which is very bendy, which makes it hard to balance. But let's give it a shot. Place whatever you've got on top of your head. If you don't have anything, imagine you've got something, okay? Let's work into it. Hands to hips. Start to pick your right foot just up and off the floor. Single leg march. That's it. Good. Now kick that right leg up and off the floor. Hold it. Start to kick the leg straight and bend. Out and in. We have five, four. The left leg is pushing the floor away from you. Three, two. Kick that right leg straight and hold. Think about using your core. Little kicks up and up. Eight, seven, six, five. Side is burning. Four, three, two. We're not done. Knee into the chest. Again, open it out to the right. Pull it back through center. Open it out to the side. Bring it back through center. Four more. If you need a wall, grab a wall. Three, but see if you can take one or two fingers to that surface. Two and one. Good, bring that leg back through center. Tap the big toe to the floor. Now roll with me. Extend the big toe out to the right. Couch ballet for a moment. Lift that leg up and down. Up and down. Get it as high as you can. We have eight. Seven, don't let the left side of the body crumple. Six. Good. Last four. Three. Two. Lift that leg and hold it. Pulse it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. We should be burning. Four. Three. Two. Hold the knee into the chest. And then set it down. Hands to the head. Grab something if you've got it. Wiggle your hips. If this is incredibly frustrating for you and it's hard to get, that's okay. I bet, practice my balance at least once every day. So a good opportunity to think about where you might be able to practice your balance. And that's why I said cats while you're brushing your teeth. While I brush my teeth, I tend to do it on one leg. Food for thought. I feel ridiculous with magnet down my head, but we're gonna keep working. All right, left leg off the floor, up and down. Think about using your core to get that leg up. There we go. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. Pick that leg up and hold it. Doesn't matter if it's here or it's here, as long as it's off the floor. Kick it straight and bend. Out and in. Four. We're going to kick in three. Two. Kick that leg straight. Little kicks up and up. Eight, seven, six, 
five. You've got it. Four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee in. Open it out to the left. Bring it center. To the left and center. Don't let your body shift. Four, three, yes, two. The right leg's getting tired. And one. Now tap your big toe to the floor. Kick it out to the left. We bring that leg all the way up and down. Up and down. And in my past life, I definitely was not a dancer. I was a water polo player. So this will always be hard for me. But that's why it's a practice. We have three, two, lift and hold, kick it up. Eight, seven, six, five, higher four, three, two, and rest. Nice. Take whatever you've got off your head. If it's still there, get rid of it. Okay. And let's make our way down onto our backs for some core. So we're going to start actually making our way down onto our, our butt for some core. We're going to start seated. You're going to take your legs into a butterfly position. So give those knees a flutter, your wings. And now my ask of you is that you don't lift your feet off the floor. So you're going to extend your arms straight. You're going to roll as far back as you can. But remember, you have to pull yourself up without letting your feet lift. So let's play with it. 30 seconds. Roll back as far as you can. I'm going to come down all the way into my back, but I don't expect you to do it because I need you to have the core control that you can pull yourself back up. Slow is the name of the game here. Keep squeezing your feet together for support. Yes, there we go. And I love these roll-ups because we're working every single part of our core. We have lower, mid, upper, last five, four, three, two, and one. Root the feet into the mat. Seated rotations. My arms extend forward. I reach over to the right and up. Other way and up. As you reach back, scoop the belly, come back into it, and come back through center. If you're wanting more of a challenge, feet off the floor. Over, up, over, and up. That's it. Good. Reach as far back as you can. Roll as far back as you can. Really working the oblique. Yes, last 10 seconds. Wherever you are, squeeze your knees together for stability. We have four, three, two, and rest. Okay. We're coming over onto our forearm on the side. We have one minute of core left, and then we're gonna stretch. First 30 seconds, I'm in a forearm plank. I dip, lift, dip, lift, okay? And if that is too difficult on your shoulder, you can press up, down, up, down. Otherwise, hips off the floor. 30 seconds, let's go. Up and down. Yes, keep those hips stacked, keep your shoulders stacked. Keep breathing, press the floor away from you with your bottom arm. We're already half done with this side. Nice. Good. We're going to switch in four, three, two, and one. Make your way right on over to your other side. Make sure that your elbow is underneath your shoulder. We want good form. No pitching that arm forward. Second set. Down, up, down, up. See how high you can lift your hips off the floor. Woo, there we go. All right, half done. Yes, Lily. Good. Last seven, six, killer Kayleen. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone take your bands off. We're gonna stretch without them today.
All right. Bands are off. Well earned stretch, but it's going to be an active stretch. So come into a V seat. How wide your V can be depends on how flexible you are. So pick something. And once you're in your V, if you have really tight hamstrings, you can take a little bend in your knees. Take hands to opposite shoulders, and we're going to make the stretch active. Now, if you can't fit like this with a straight spine, your work is going to be to come up and then relax. Come up and relax. If you can sit with a straight spine, you're going to hinge and come back up. Hinge at the hips and come back up. So active stretching 30 seconds. Each time you do it, see if you can get a little bit lower. Speed is not your friend here. That's it. Ooh. All right. In five, we're gonna hinge and hold it. We have three, two, one, hinge. Hands behind the head, press your belly button down, lift your elbows up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, wiggle the legs out. Okay. Root the feet into the floor. So we've talked about this a little bit. Uh, we talked about this a little bit last week, but we're gonna discuss it briefly again. We're gonna do one more stretch for the legs, then for the arms, and I'll set everybody free. So what we just did is called external hip rotation. So our feet are essentially like this, right? And then we just sit really wide like that. Neutral hip rotation is my feet are parallel. So external, neutral. Internal is I'm like this. And we never do this in our daily lives, but because our hips are a ball and socket joint, they're meant to move in every which way. So now we're gonna work the internal rotation of our legs. It's gonna feel crampy and awkward, and that's to be expected because we just don't do it very often. So step your feet slightly wider than hip distance, and start to drop your right knee towards your left knee. And I want you to keep a 90 degree angle in the right knee. Now, the right side of your butt's gonna be like, okay, cool, let me come up. No, keep your butt down. So butt down, knee works towards down. And I do a lot of this, and I have a fairly big space between my knee and the floor, so be especially patient with yourself. It feels awkward. Keep pressing that knee down, pressing your butt down. We have six, five, four, three, two, rest. Switch sides. Drop your left knee towards your right. I want to make sure that my heel is in line with my knee. I've got a 90-degree angle. Butt's down, knees down. Relax your shoulders. Good. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. Now, let's get a little wild because it's Friday. Keeping the feet rooted into the floor, roll into the inner edge of the feet, drop your knees towards each other, and then keep pressing them down towards the floor. If you walk your feet further out in opposite directions, it makes it even harder. Press, grow tall. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Release it. Nice straight legs, wiggle them out. Take a good old fashioned hamstring stretch, let yourself hang. And instead of focusing on how far down you can walk the hands, I want you to think about pressing the backs of your knees down towards the floor. So your hands can fall anywhere on the legs. I don't care about that. Good, everybody roll up to sit. Come into a seated position. I like cross-legged, anything that feels stable. And the last stretch we're gonna do is for the shoulders and the upper body. So reach your right hand to the floor, reach the left arm up and over, and then switch sides. And keep going side to side. Good. Last four. And two. Final one. Come up through center. Clasp the palms, press the base of them up. Big shoulders stretch. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, release the hands. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job. So we had a number of workouts this week. If anyone can remember anything we did. Um, 
I'm curious to know whether we prefer strength, whether we like cardio, whether we want weird mobility stuff, or we just want the mixed match. But we've had a little taste of all the different varieties. So if you have an opinion or feedback, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, have a fantastic and safe weekend. I'll be here on Monday. And that's that. Good job, everyone. Hey, everybody, this is John. If you have feedback that you would like to email or whatnot and make sure that Laurel gets it, you can just send it to the uh, email that you can just reply to the emails you get or however you want to pass it to us. We'll make sure it gets to Laurel. Thank you very much, Laurel. Awesome one. Um, Laurel, man, here's great Laurel, here's there. mine. Katsu canoeing, if you see me. I love it. Yes. Katsu nice. canoeing. That one's good. Like the picture, man. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Take care. Bye.